Hey, welcome back into today's video. We're going to be looking into Jillian Juice on today's episode of Exploring the Internet. You guys reached out to me and wanted me to look into uh, Jillian Juice or Jilly Juice. Jilly Juice is a brine solution of cabbage juice left in a warm room for three days. According to its creator, it expunges candida from the body and so by drinking a gallon of this juice every day one can cure themselves of virtually any ailment including autism cancer hiv down syndrome and homosexuality now the creator of this uh, concoction is J jillian epperly dr phil asked her the hard questions so you you ask people this is two and a half cups and you want people to build up to drinking a gallon of this a day. Right, because the thing is, people, people are very malnourished. What's going on is you're so immunocompromised, you're not absorbing all the nutrition. That's why you see mutation from people. And so when you actually... <laughs> when you actually... In my research, I found one guy, Miles Power, who actually put it to the test to see what it uh, smelled like. Let's, let's look into that. It smells like someone has canned a year's worth of farts. Doesn't sound very good at all. But what does it taste like? <coughs> now there's a clip where she's actually drinking it, so let's judge her facial reactions and uh, to get a better mind's eye about this. Mm -mm. So it's uh, it's cabbage, kale, uh, Himalayan salt mixed in. So in general, I don't really like cabbage anyways. And when you're cooking cabbage, it does tend to smell like a... But uh, is it healthy? The claims obviously are outrageous, but the harms are even more concerning. Uh, regardless of whether you're using Himalayan salt or any other kind of salt, the mineral content may be different but the amount of sodium is 40%. It is just the same. And it is the sodium that we are worried about in this concoction. That amount of sodium in one cup, as you mentioned earlier, is two to three times what the daily allotment is for a normal individual. If an she, should, she should not be smiling while this uh, medical professional is telling her the dangers that it could cause to her, her uh, I don't, you can't, they're not patients because she's not a doctor, which we'll get into that in a second. Um, if an individual has risk factors like hypertension or kidney disease, then it's even four to five times the recommended amount. So certainly that amount of sodium ingestion can cause uh, a stroke. And no doubt in, about that's it. That's in one cup, right? Absolutely. And, and the recommendation is to get up to drinking 16 cups. What's the, what's the and, outcome and the of And the second point, to diet? your point, is that that amount of sodium ingestion can also result in other acute problems. Sudden consumption of that degree of sodium can cause hemorrhaging in the brain, seizures, respiratory distress, organ dysfunction. So it's not to be taken lightly. That's not good. Even worse is there's actually people that have been directly affected by this. <laughs> the first time, I threw up. Uh -huh. Um, it took a while to, to sip at it. Did it look like this? It, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And then what started happening that caused you to stop? We were able to definitively see the fact that there were two strokes. When I went to my cardiologist, he was the one that said, yes, dehydration happens with that much salt. When I did finally talk to Jillian, I was just trying to warn her, like, you really need to make sure you protect yourself. Her reaction was, well, you don't have to worry about that. I've got plenty of lawyers. The first symptoms were that there's this bone chilling cold. Um, the headaches, of course, the waterfalls, which are just horrible diarrhea. So the mention of waterfalls had me quite curious. So I looked into it and I found out that her and her followers are called the poop cult. It's true. Headline said she was the head of a poop cult. The poop cult. How do you respond to, well, that is, I, it, it, so I pooped really awesome this morning. So yes, I'm talking about my poop again for all you crazy people that think I'm nuts. And uh, yeah, I picked the poop out of my ass. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be, you know, 
purging the poop. That's why they call us a poop cult because we're focused on the poop because we know the poop is what is causing our issues. It is the very foundation and the root cause of all of your issues is the fact that we have so much poop in our system. So I'm perfectly okay with being called a poop cult. You know, I found out that um, every time she gets in a, a in the hot seat and she doesn't really know what to say, she kind of makes up her own words. Your claims are that you can regrow organs and limbs. Right. If you can heal a cut on your on your on your arm, that's your integumentary system, right? These are cells that are okay. that are regrowing. So how can that not be a leap to go into so regrowing your if, organs? If I lose my arm in an accident, I can. You could potential, yes. If so you do I pour this on it or do I drink no, it? No, you drink it. You, he you say we can live to 400 years old. Heck yes. Yes. And cancer, yeah. you can just reverse cancer, any kind of cancer. Of course. Cancer's a fungus. If you drink this, Down syndrome, all, all of the cells just completely reformat. Absolutely. It's facial like growing, growing features growing pains, you're, Facial you're, features change. Facial features change. Absolutely. Because you're morphing, like when you are growing, your bones shift. It's painful. And you, you say that this will reverse homosexuality? Yes, because the, here's how I look at humanity. Every There's a male and there's a female, right? With these types of claims behind something, we need uh, the evidence to back that up. We need to figure out uh, how reliable the creator is. And uh, we have just the clip for that. I assume you have pictures of people that have regrown arms and stuff. Absolutely not, because I haven't gotten that far. I've only been doing this for a year. So you don't have any proof that this regrows arms? Proof is all relative. I've seen proof in smaller experiential well, circumstances. Well, it's not relative. You either it proof is. you don't. <laughs> no, proof is relative. Do you have any... What? <laughs> no, proof is relative. Do you have any training? I have enough training what by looking training? at the internet and actually taking oh. information. <laughs> right. right. Any biochemical <laughs> training? No, absolutely not. No medical education or degree. No. You have no medical license. Nope. You have no scientific studies. Nope. You have no clinical studies. Nope. Human studies, animal studies. No, do you need, do you? You do need that kind of stuff. Those those kinds of things are just a little bit important. Right. There have been. Well, there are lots of people. There are quite a few people. Here's people who have foregone like their Here, actual medical treatment. Do you worry about thing. that at all? Here's the thing. I'm actually teaching people how to learn about their own body themselves to make their own decisions. Do you feel responsible for the people who follow your protocol and they get hurt? Do you feel no, responsible? No, I don't feel responsible. You know why? why? Not? Because why? they had the opportunity to read my information and understand. I have it all free. Jane, there is nothing you, hidden in my agenda here. You are preying on vulnerable Only people. Only by you who These says, are desperate people. Some of them are you. dying. No, They're no, no. This dying. is this is Reality. No, it's not reality but, because no, it, where's the substantiate that they're dying? Please substantiate that. Not a hospice patient. Some of them have died. Not a hospice patient who's already been dead, who's already basically dead by the system. So essentially we have here a prime example of someone that does not have your best interests at heart. Now, I think I fully believe that she probably believes that, oh my God, I just seen something crazy. I think what we have here is a prime example of uh, someone that probably doesn't have your best intentions at heart here. Uh, I can't say for sure. It just really, with the evidence that I'm seeing here, it just seems like I'm, I'm never, I'm not gonna get me any jelly juice, but if you've tried jelly juice, let me know in the comment section below. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, living to 400, mm. it's storming right now. I hope I don't have to shoot this again because it, it, like the storm outside is crazy. And uh, for some reason, my ceiling is leaking. So that's a, that's an issue that needs to be dealt with. But other than that, I know that you're repping if you're not repping, you're regular. And how do you do that? All you gotta do is subscribe, notifications, turn on, be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Red Star community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Well, this is at least some good coffee.